You have five seconds starting right now to tell me what you notice. One, two, three, four, five. Run. You stupid bitch! Who's back, baby? Oh, it tastes like shit. It doesn't taste good. Guess I'm not sure what I expected. Look who's dumbass I found, bro. Whoa, where are my specs? Where's the bag of cocaine I was about to hit? What's better than this? Papa Meeks, Gucci Creamy, Gucci Creamy Soup. The specs. Black Santa mug, Black Santa, Jew Llama. Fuck you. You fucking bitch. Why are you bullying me? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, you guys. I love Jew Llama. Help me. If I could stick a beast pick in Jew Llama's snow globe and just drown him in there, I would just. Oh! Okay, 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 listen, listen, listen. I have a jam-packed weekend, you know. I don't like to make excuses. In fact, I never make excuses. But let me tell you something. I am recording this Wheel of Mutt under the assumption that the winter promo will not drop until the 14th, and you should see this video on the 13th. So there's a chance that I'm totally right. It didn't drop yet, and we're cash money. There's also a chance it dropped like yesterday. It dropped early, and then you're not gonna see any of the Christmas content, and I fucked up. Either way, I will make it up to you when the Christmas stuff does drop. It will be a super heat banger, but I do believe believe I'm timing this perfectly. It's always a toss up. I hope you guys understand. I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, behind the scenes of making an episode like this. I make a wheel of mud. You know, I'm looking at like an hour, two, even three hour recording sometimes. Um, after that, I make the thumbnail. I get the title, the description, all set, end screens, mid rolls, um, and align the posting date. And then Ty, my amazing editor, has got to edit the footage and get it up onto YouTube. So by no means am I complaining. I'm just saying it's virtually impossible for me to wake up, record a video, and post it the same day. So that's why sometimes you guys see content as a little bit backlogged. Point being, we still try our hardest to get you daily bangers, but sometimes yeah, I take a little breather pill. That's that's kind of the quality problem, you know? If I put out a dog shit wheel a month with no good editing and didn't put any effort into it, I could post it on the same day. But um, I'm not a bum ass piece of shit YouTuber. You know what I hate? By the way, this is a total tangent. I cannot believe that YouTube removed the dislike button. Oh, you're so beta. You're so beta. I really do love YouTube. I rarely have bad things to say. But the dis- Oh my god. Are you kidding? How fucking soft are we? If I make a video that's shit, like, I, I would know. I would go and I'd log in, i see a bunch of dislikes. Cool. And also, it lets other people know. If I click on a video and it's like, how to fix your refrigerator, and all I can see is the 5,000 likes, now I can't see the 40,000 dislikes talking about how it's such a piece of shit video that it's not helpful at all. Some people make horrible content or terrible content that you need the dislikes as a rating system. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going on this rant. If you just care about Madden, go ahead and skip ahead. But you know what I always do when I go to a new place? I look up best restaurants Bloomington. When I was in Indiana, I was looking for a good place to get breakfast with the boys, you know? Look up best restaurants Bloomington. I see this restaurant. It's got a 4.8 stars out of five on Google reviews. That means a high majority of people gave it a five stars, maybe a four stars, and then probably saw a couple one star reviews in there. Now imagine the only reviews that you could see were five star reviews. Imagine that's the only thing you could see. Every single restaurant you wanted to go to just said five star. No matter what. Because those are the only reviews that are allowed to be seen on Google reviews. How stupid would that be? How am I supposed to know if I'm gonna waste my time going to a restaurant if I can't see the bad reviews? Same thing with YouTube, bro. I click on a video, it's a tutorial. It's got 80,000 dislikes and 1,000 likes. I'm literally leaving instantly. It pisses me off to no extent. And by the way, if you think a video I make is bad, dislike it. Please dislike it. Because if it's shit, I wanna know and I wanna make it better. Ooh, it just grinds my cock and balls. Either way, we're here for Wheel of Mutt, so let's hop in, baby. We're up to a 90 overall team. We are four and one, and we're cruising along here. Obviously, I have to continue to perform well. If I do, we're on pace for a deep playoff push, potentially a Super Bowl on Christmas. All right, so the wheel is spinning right now. I cannot lose the next two episodes. It's gonna completely toss that schedule. But let's see what our wheel spin is first. We'll talk about it later. It's 50K positions wheels. Okay, Um, honestly, not the best spin, but 50K does buy you decent stuff. We're hoping it can be O-line, Tight end is not actually that bad here. It's not bad at all. I got Mackie, who is for sure subpar. Let's see uh, Let's see what we can get. It's crazy, though. I really do use tight ends so much that this is actually pretty good. Hunt, you know, Hunter Henry has more touchdowns than any tight end in the league right now. Gerald Everett. I always forget he's a tight end, bro. Seahawks use him like a wide receiver. Dawson Knox is playing really well this year, too. I kind of want to go with Dawson Knox. Josh Allen to Dawson Knox. The true play is Kyle Pitts, because Kyle Pitts is fucking crap. 90 speed, 70 strength. Now that's a wide receiver. Kyle Pitts. Welcome. You know, it's crazy as we spin our second wheel spin, how good Darren Waller has been. We got him like almost four months ago now. And he's still one of the best tight ends in the game. We're gonna get, ooh, let's go. 
Do I have any Blitz players on this team? I don't think I have any. So this is Blitz 90 to 93 choice. It's basically all the Blitz players you want, except you can't get Bo Jackson. There's a Derwin James. I didn't even know that. Derwin James, Jamar Chase. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Derwin James, Jamar Chase. There is Lamar. There's a Montez Sweat. Dude, that could be game changing. A QB spy. My concern if I pick Lamar Jackson is I'm gonna start playing like an idiot. Like really stupid. Like fumbling. This is a really hard choice. I have to go Montez Sweat here. We are gonna absolutely shut down all the Randall Cunningham's, Mike Vicks, and Lamar Jackson's 92 speed Montez Sweat. Oh, that's huge. What a good wheel spin right there. 90 overall Montez Sweat joins the fray along with Kyle Pitts. We were literally like two QBR from the challenge wheel last week, which is so sad. But, uh, hey, it's so good. We got close. And our challenge is to use our corner for an entire quarter. Damn. If I'm feeling ballsy, I might just do it in the first quarter. Usually I'd save this, but I might just get weird. Jabril, Metcalf, Jair. What do you got, Pierce Sells? Alvin Kamara, Chase Young, and strong safety Bo Jackson. That's strong safety Bo. It's fucking horrifying. First and 10. Oh, throw the corner. Oh, I wish. Stay in bounds. I'm going on the QB. Ooh, quick throw here. You running that football? Yep. Big one. Oh, go low. Whoa. Uh -huh. What? I don't even want to ask what just happened. I think I had latency on every single hit right there. You know, I think in every game though, I've just started out and got scored on instantly. Just need a little time to warm up, you know? Just a little, a little slow start. James Robinson is two touchdowns away from a God tier card. Darren Waller is wide receivered out there. Wait a second. No shot, Darren Waller just took his man. No shot! Oh my God, Darren Waller! Dude, I got this dude three months ago. Go down, go down, go down. Let's get a little inside zone here to James Robbie. Go, go, go. Oh, break that tackle. Oh, I have Bulldozer now, don't I? Yo, he's got Bulldozer now. I think he knows I'm going for the same thing. I don't know if it'll matter though. Look at that. Let's see if Robinson will get open on this right side. Oh, uh, he is, he is. That was sketchy. But that's the James Robinson touchdown. Meaning, we're one touchdown away from the God tier, James Robinson. And I'm going for two. Let's just send this inside zone. Let's go. He's gonna try that, dude. Trust me, what happened last time is never happening again. Ooh, big hit. Oh, he was so close. Sean Taylor's done that twice now. He did that last game. These insane acrobat diving INTs. I did switch on and BY at the right time, but I'm surprised we got that one. Low key. I think Waller is wide open on this zig route. Edge. Oh, I thought I could, I could get a little cheeky around the edge there. I cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> Holy shit! I don't need Lamar Jackson to get sketchy! I can do it all! With Josh Allen, what the fuck am I doing? Second and 11, so Robinson is in here. I'm gonna look for him underneath on this. Good. I'll go up by a field goal and get the ball half, regroup and score with Robinson then. I need him to go on Simmons. I'm gonna wait till he goes on Simmons because Metcalf could literally be just straight over the top here. Oh, darn. Darren Waller. Can never forget. Six for six, 94 yards in a tutty. Now I got a perfect pass rating. Ugh, see, Damon Harris is in right now and I don't like that. Right back to inside zone. <laughs> <laughs> no shot. That was a touchdown. Oh my God. I can't believe he got around that edge. First and 10. Yep. No. If everybody just held that for another half second. <laughs> Let's go. James Robinson is in off of six straight inside zones. We're up by 10. Let's make it 12 off of our final inside zone. Hey, he runs his ass over. I have to use her corner. I have to use her corner. I have to use her corner. I started with the ball. That was my drive. Okay, sick. I'll use her corner this entire quarter. 
So this whole drive, I'll be on a corner. Let's do it. We can complete our challenge wheel. We will fully max to James Robinson now once I'm out of this game. Oh, Jair's a corner. Y you know, you string right here isn't that bad either. Don't you dare throw cross field, buddy. Let's see if I can bait him. I'm throwing something stupid. That was my man. I should have been there. Play action again. Hey, good blitz. What a throw! Wow, that was impressive. You know, I did say it would be for a quarter, but I feel like we cheesed it a little bit because the quarter's already over, and I feel like I could still be using him. So we'll just do it for the whole drive, just so it's fair. <sighs> Slip screen. <gasps> we sacked him. Let's go. Third and 22. Play action. He's gonna throw this. Yup. Get there, Jair Alexander. I might just blitz him. I'm blitzing him. Get there! Let's go! Devin White! He's gone. Is that a rich quit? Get him out. Get him out! Let's go! There's three minutes left in the game. I'm tempted to count that. Ah, uh, let's count it. Fuck it. Hey, Merry Christmas, boys. We're counting that one as a rich quit. All right, so we're five and one. We completed our challenge and we got a rage quit wheel spin. All right, boys, this is the rage quit wheel. There's a ton of good stuff on it. Just kind of feel like we haven't gotten it. So pray we can get something super baller here. Nah. Dude, like there's 93 jackpot on here. We just kind of get clapped. It's 10 plus gold players. So we'll open this pack and then we also get a pack from challenge wheel. So we're kind of looking for like a limited pull or I guess a left guard. I don't have a left guard yet. Like literally. Jason Hill, still have a 76 left guard. Asking. Trash, trash. I gotta stuff him out. And I can upgrade James Robinson. I can't forget about that either. Javante Williams. A team of the week, okay. Jonathan Taylor. It's kind of sick to have in case we pack a bunch, but we do already have James Robinson. Amari Cooper. You know what? It actually will be really good because I think Jonathan Taylor is going to get MVP. Potentially. It might be Tom Brady. I hope it's Jonathan Taylor, though. All right. So my one pack, damn. We took an L on the Rage Quit Wheel Spin, but uh, basically that's what we get for counting that as a Rage Quit. But we... Oh! Marshawn Lattimore! Holy shit, in the first round. It's actually a really clutch pull. I would still love a left guard, but that's sick. Oh, I'm throwing Corey Lindsay left guard. Okay, holy shit. Let's go. Oh, this is huge. It's a great pack so far. Camara, Lyle Collins, and a small elite. Free safety. Ronnie Lott. I'll take Lyle Collins. The moment we have literally all been waiting for. A fully juiced James Robinson. How many episodes have we been going for this? It feels like so many. There's one of the upgrades. And the final one, we gotta go buy his limited. So, no momento. There better be one on the auction house or I'm gonna cry. There is literally one. I don't know if I'm overpaying, but I don't really care. Hey! Literally gave him plus five speed with that right there. We gotta change that front art to limited, baby. You guys know how I feel about that limited card art. 95 overall, James Robinson. So I could go ca I could go tank, breaking all hit stick tackles, but honestly, I'm so fine with Bulldozer. Bulldozer reach for it. That's all we had on Bo Jackson. That's all we had on Derrick Henry. I can't wait to try this out, too. Next episode, we're gonna get to see just how cracked he is. All right, boys. I'm not recording anything till that new Christmas card that comes out, but when we get back, you'll get to see Josh Allen, a fully gassed James Robinson, DK, AJ Green, Randy Moss, Darren Waller, Kyle Pitts, Wamish Brown, Devin White, Lawrence Taylor, Isaiah Simmons, Fred Warner, Jabril Peppers, Sean T, Ramsey, Simmons, Jordan Williams, Calais Campbell, Montez Sweat, Jair Alexander. Five and one. I love you boys. What a banger. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.